In this photograph taken in 1939 in Visby, Gotland, Sweden, three men pause to read the news, likely discussing the ongoing tension in Europe. A common scene where a waitress is serving breakfast to men. During this era, women were often viewed as supplemental workers, meaning their income was considered secondary to that of their husbands, captured during 1950s. 1953, rare behind-the-scenes snapshots, featuring Betty Grable, Lauren Bacall, and Marilyn Monroe in How to Marry a Millionaire. A woman operates a vintage desktop computer manufactured by Service, dating back to the 1970s. Photograph captured a young boy standing outside his home. Tragically, he had lost his leg in a streetcar accident while playing in the street in Washington, D.C. in 1944. Doris Kenyon was an American actress born on September 5, 1897, in Syracuse, New York, and she passed away on September 1, 1979. She had a career in silent and early sound films during the 1920s and 1930s. A young Joseph Stalin was captured in a photograph, circa 1911. On February 25th, 1967, Albert de Salvo, the self-confessed Boston strangler responsible for the murders of 13 women, was apprehended in North Boston, United States. A horse wrangler observed a group of horses in Bonham, Texas in June 1910. A Japanese soldier walked through the ruins of Hiroshima just a month after the United States dropped an atomic bomb on the city on September 1945. Member of the Ojibwe tribe, a Native American engaged in spearfishing in a lake located somewhere in Minnesota, circa 1908. Anne Rutherford, 1917 to 2012, was a Canadian-American actress celebrated for her roles in films such as Gone with the Wind and the popular Andy Hardy film series. Her contributions left an enduring legacy in classic Hollywood cinema. American soldier Private Gordon Conry stands in the Hall of Mirrors at the Palace of Versailles shortly after its liberation from the Germans in 1944. 125th Street in New York City, USA, illuminated by the lights of the bustling city, captured at night in 1941. An elderly peasant from Vrancia, Romania, sitting beside a coffin that he crafted for himself. This photograph was taken in 1937. A captured Russian T-28 tank, operated by a Finnish crew, making its way through the village of Lappi, Finland, on July 8, 1941. This image captures a significant moment during World War II, when Finland fought alongside Nazi Germany against the Soviet Union in what is known as the Continuation War. Thomas Edison seated next to his phonograph, a groundbreaking invention for the mechanical recording and playback of sound that he created in 1877. This photograph was taken in his library in the early 1910s. Thomas Edison's work on the phonograph revolutionized the world of music and audio recording. Anita Ekberg, 1931-2015, was a Swedish actress renowned for her iconic role in La Dolce Vita, where she waded into Rome's Trevi Fountain. She was celebrated for her beauty and became an international sex symbol. Australian soldier, wearing a captured German Pickelhaub helmet, engaged in conversation with a French army medic in Pozières, France, 
on the 23rd of July, 1916. Arsenal goalkeeper Jack Kelsey peers through the thick fog in search of the ball on the 2nd of January 1954. Foggy conditions like these could make football matches challenging for both players and spectators, as visibility was severely limited. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, accompanied by his wife Clementine, is seen on board a patrol vessel near the London Docks, United Kingdom, on the 25th of September, 1940. Buffalo Bill, also known as William F. Cody, is seen here with his horse Isham at the Wild West Arena in approximately 1905. Buffalo Bill was a legendary figure in the American Old West, known for his Wild West shows that featured various acts, including sharpshooting, rodeo performances, and reenactments of cowboy life. Emmeline Pankhurst, the British suffragette leader, is shown here being arrested and carried away from Buckingham Palace in May 1914. She was attempting to present a petition to King George V as part of the suffragette movement's efforts to secure voting rights for women in the United Kingdom. Pankhurst was a prominent and influential figure in the suffragette movement, which used both peaceful protests and more militant tactics to advocate for women's suffrage. Eve Meyer, 1928-1977, was an American pin-up model, motion picture actress, and later film producer. Much of her work was done in conjunction with sexploitation filmmaker Russ Meyer, to whom she was married. Ernesto Che Guevara, June 14, 1928 to October 9, 1967, was an Argentine Marxist revolutionary, physician, author, guerrilla leader, diplomat, and military theorist. He played a significant role in the Cuban Revolution, which led to the overthrow of the Batista regime in Cuba in 1959. Don Pedro II, born Pedro de Alcantara, reigned as the second and last emperor of Brazil from 1831 to 1889. Renowned American singer and actor Elvis Presley, often referred to as the King of Rock, is pictured here wearing his military uniform in approximately 1960. Irish poet and playwright Oscar Wilde, captured in a photograph from 1882. Wilde, known for his wit, flamboyant style and sharp social commentary, was a central figure in the literary and cultural scene of the late 19th century. The first person in space, Yuri Gagarin, saluting in 1961 at the age of 27. Yuri Gagarin made history on April 12, 1961, when he became the first human to journey into outer space aboard the Vostok 1 spacecraft. Barbara Nichols, 1928 to 1976, was an American actress known for her roles in films like Sweet Smell of Success and The Pajama Game during the 1950s and 1960s. In May 1910, a photograph captured Frances Lance, a five-year-old newspaper vendor on Grand Avenue in St. Louis, Missouri. Jacqueline Kennedy served as the First Lady of the United States from 1961 until her husband's tragic assassination in 1963. During her time in this role, she made a significant impact on American culture and fashion, becoming a beloved figure known for her grace, style, and contributions to the arts. General Dwight D. Eisenhower was a highly regarded military leader known for his role as Supreme Commander 
of the Allied Expeditionary Forces in Europe during World War II. He would later become the 34th President of the United States, serving from 1953 to 1961. On the 50th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty on October 28, 1936, President Franklin D. Roosevelt delivered an address to the American people. Thank you for watching, everyone. Stay connected to history by subscribing to our channel for more exciting videos like this.